What's up there guys, how is it going? Today I'm gonna discuss how to make studying literature fun. Stay tuned. Now the first tip you need to know is, actually there's something before the first tip, I forgot to tell you, what was it? Yes, you need to watch my other two videos how to study literature effectively and best apps for studying literature. Now before I start I need to tell you if you are determined to learn something nobody can stop you. Number one is read the text as if you are reading a newspaper. Do not look for the details too much. Just know the major characters, the major events and that's it. Now before I move to the second tip, you need to know something. When I said read the text as if you are reading a newspaper, you should not follow this method until the end of the days. It's just at the beginning when you feel that you cannot connect with the text. But once you can connect with the text, you should do a lot of work. And to have more information about this, you should watch my other video which is how to study literature effectively. Number two. Do not study for a long time. Divide the novel into chapters, the play into acts and scenes, and you will see the difference. Tip number three, try to figure out what kind of learners are you. We have people who learn by watching, others learn by listening, some people learn by moving or doing a kind of activity, and some other people learn by reading. And we have so many other kinds, so you should do a search on them online and try to figure out what kind of learner are you and then follow that method of learning and you will feel the difference. Tip number four, never deprive yourself from sleeping well. You need to sleep at least six hours a day. It differs from one person to another, but if you don't, you will deprive your body from rest you will not be able to understand what you're studying and you will not be able to memorize or remember what you have studied. It's very important to get a very good sleep, especially at night from 10 to 6. Number 5. Do not de-socialize yourself from your friends. Because every one of us needs sometimes to hang out and to go out and to see what's going on outside and you will need uh, some kind of relief from all the studying and stuff that you are doing. So do not de-socialize yourself from your friends. But when you are going on a picnic or you are going to hang out with friends, do not exhaust yourself. Because if you do exhaust yourself, you will feel tired and you will not be able to study well. Number six, keep away from negative people. No matter how much this sounds a very, very old um, kind of advice, or it sounds a cliche for you, negative people will destroy you. Not just in studying in everything, but especially in studying. And how to recognize negative people? Negative people usually will tell you, we are not going to pass in this exam. We cannot understand anything from this teacher. It's all a mess. It's useless. We will not study. We should not study. Why we are studying this? These poisonous ideas will get into your mind and you will remember them once you are studying. So keep away as far as you can. Okay guys, I'm leaving the last tip for you. Tell me what is the best thing to do to make studying in general and studying literature in particular more fun. Guys, this was it for today. Um, stay tuned to more videos, do not forget to watch my previous videos and do not forget to subscribe my channel and please thumbs up. See you next time and goodbye.